Happy Friday and welcome to Prince of Peace. We are in the 31st week of Ordinary Time. Our celebrant is Father Mugaga. The entrance song is How Wonderful the Three in One. We shall pray during this Holy Mass for the special intention of Francis Padalino. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift you, f you are faithful, offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and I now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God, is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body into conform to his glorified body, by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let, Let us go, go rejoicing, rejoicing to the, the house, house of the Lord. Lord. I rejoiced because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us, Let us go, go rejoicing, rejoicing to the house, house of, of the Lord. Lord. Jerusalem, built as a city, 
with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let, Let us go, go rejoicing, rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let, Let us, us go, go rejoicing, rejoicing to the, to the house, house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. Alleluia, alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, how much do you owe my master? He replied, 100 measures of olive oil. He said to him, Yeah, in your promissory note, sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here, in your promissory note, write one for eighty. And the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, there is a certain degree of astuteness that we all need when we are in the working age. To get a better retirement as a worker, you must make sure you save up as much as you can or engage in businesses that have long-term benefits. I am sure we are all too familiar with the saying, always save up something for the rainy day. If you were to follow this, therefore, there is a certain way of life that your today must adopt such that your tomorrow is sure. You give up the luxury of the moment for a greater good in the future. As such, the way you live your life today has a play on your life tomorrow. In the gospel of today, we find a dishonest servant who is praised by Jesus for his shrewdness, becoming conscious of the fact that he was about to lose his job today. He picked up a strategy that was going to bail him out tomorrow. 
But can it be true that Jesus is telling us today to be dishonest? Far be it. Jesus is rather calling our attention to the fact that if we Christians can only expend as much foresight and energy on spiritual matters which have eternal consequences as much as we do for earthly matters which only have temporary consequences, then we would be truly better off both in this life and in the life after. Put in another way, Tomorrow is God's judgment of our today. We are therefore called upon to follow Christ the light because he is the source and strength of that energy that we need in order to be the children of light that we are. We are all challenged today by Christ to make sure we build up a strong spiritual retirement package for ourselves. As we walk this pilgrimage here on earth, we must be smart and clever, doing those things that God expects of us here and now, such that, like the children of light, we can shine and dispel the darkness in the world. So that when we can also be, so that at the end of our lives, we can also be told, good and faithful servant, you have done your work well. All what is left for you now is the crown of glory. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We have come together in the power of the Spirit to give thanks to our Father in heaven for his great love for us, a love revealed in Jesus and symbolized by his sacred heart. As we prepare to unite our hearts with his in offering this Eucharistic sacrifice, let us pray for ourselves and for all the children of God. For our Holy Father in Rome, for the bishops of the world, and for all the people of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear, our hear our prayer. For the world you came to save, that all may open their ears to your gospel and open their hearts to your love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus, hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For the church, sprung from your side as you died upon the cross, that it may be a way of the life, it may be a beacon of the way, the truth, and the life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, hear, hear our, our prayer. For all who are in any way afflicted, that they may find comfort for their spirits in the tender love that wells from your sacred heart. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For ourselves, that we may be ever faithful to our baptismal commitment to you and bring your work and your love to the world in which we live. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus Christ, you have called us to share your saving mission. Sinners though we are, we accept this mission and we renew today our baptismal commitment to you and our consecration to your sacred heart. Lord Jesus, we offer you ourselves and all that we do to be united with your Eucharistic offering to our Father in heaven. That we may serve you with greater fidelity, we ask you, our divine mediator, to obtain for us the favors we seek in this novena. 
Our Mother Mary continues to intercede for us each time we pray. Hail Mary. Full, Full of grace, grace. The, the Lord, Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed art thou among women, and, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary Mother, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour, the hour of our God death. Yet. Amen. Amen. Almighty Father, source of every blessing, as you accepted the sacrifice of your Son on the cross, accept our prayers and fill us with your blessings. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Deepen our faith and touch fire to our hearts, that we may respond with love to the great love for us and for all men that fills your sacred heart. Amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy. To Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And be with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mm -hmm. 
the mystery of faith. When we eat we this, eat this bread, bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we then pass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. With a wave, let us offer each other a sign of. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared for your gift for receiving what they promise. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks. be to God. <laughs>